Hey guys, welcome back to another Ride with Chariot video and today I am telling you some very exciting news. So hopefully you guys all enjoy and I hope you enjoyed the intro and I am working on a closing of the um closing of the video um at it as well so stay tuned for that um but let's get into this video um so this is something that i was never expecting and never wanted to happen at all but it is and i'm actually kind of excited because um i might be changing my facility of horseback running to another facility <laughs> so um the facility that i'm at right now uh has a smaller stable and is let's just say a little messy it doesn't i mean it's not bad but like i mean like the new facility has a much more bigger arena and a much more bigger tack room where my the one that I'm at right now um doesn't really have as big as a tack room and I have to cram all this stuff out for my lesson and it's ridiculous and the amount of chairs taken up with saddles i think they need a bigger upgrade of a saddle or a tack room because if you own a if you own a facility and you want people to ride at it i think you need good tack and stuff for your facility just to make them feel like they don't really like aren't riding on trash i mean i'm not calling my facility trash i mean like it's not bad so it's not really bad but like it's not like the best um but the new stable that i might be going to is a bit better um they have a bigger tack room, a bigger arena, and better horses fit for a job like jumping and dressage, which I want to do very bad. So, um, the new facility that I might be going to holds shows every single weekend. So, I might be able to attend to some of those when I get more experienced with the jumping and the dressage so that's fun um but this is only if it's cheap and they have spaces left and if they don't i don't know if they like if i don't want it then i don't have to go to it but i actually think i really do want to change my spot because honestly my facility right now is just teaching me how to ride which i already know how to ride i've learned the canter i've learned the draw i've learned the walk i've learned jumping I don't know what else to do. Honestly, right now, I think going higher and jumping is um, my main priority. And my riding facility hasn't even started me on jumping. They've started me on poles. Because Mystic can't jump. And if they can't have a jumping horse there, I mean, I can do dressage. But dressage is kind of an easier s space to work in because of the canner and right now mystic isn't even like 
set on cannering. She's not fully trained to be canner, cannered. Um, so right now, basically, I'm training her when I, like, really actually need the training to actually work on the canner. And I don't think I can get anywhere else with this riding facility that I'm at right now. So I think the best choice for me right now is to um, go to a new riding facility. So yeah, I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys agree with me. But um, <clears throat> what I want to say next is about a story of mystic um mystic was not always a lesson horse she was actually a pasture horse that grazed all day wasn't even touched just was fed by humans and then left with other horses all day out into one pasture and uh she wouldn't even give people the time of day when she first started at the um facility that I'm at but now she's a perfect little sweetheart that is like really gentle she is a little bit sassy but we don't talk about that um she's really so she's really soft on the mouth um she doesn't need a bit at all she doesn't ever ri ride with a bit at all so yeah she's just a little sweetheart i love her but not as much as saffron <laughs> so yeah but yeah that's basically my part of the story that i'd like to tell you but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you all in tomorrow's video of um me and saffron and i can't tell you what i'm doing yet because it's actually a really big surprise i mean it's not really big but like it's a surprise and i can't tell you because that would ruin the fun of it but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and you'll just have to watch the video to see what I'm doing. So yeah, bye everyone. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day or night and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye!